Odd Screen Overview. Select Odd from the main screen. Once the Odd module is selected, the default test will be set to Tone. In this tab, you can perform air conduction, bone conduction, and discrete frequency LDLs. In the top right corner, you will find the talk forward icon for instructing the patient. The input level controls the intensity of your voice through the transducers and to the patient. You can slide the VU meter to adjust. The output level is your volume level to the patient using your operator headset boom mic. You can adjust the volume by sliding the output level control. The talkback level controls the volume in your monitor headset when listening to the patient from the talkback mic. Some headsets have a manual volume control on the cable and some do not. You can adjust with the manual VC if you have one or in the talk forward option. You can enable or disable your talkback mic here as well. Click on the headset icon. This controls your monitor headset. The signal level controls the volume of the beeps and words. The auxiliary level is used to hear and control the volume level of the masking stimulus when masking is used. The talkback level controls the volume in your headset when listening to the patient. Again, this can be enabled or disabled. The next two disk icons will allow you to save sessions. Saving test data will be discussed further in the testing portion of the training. This is the print icon. This icon is the journal icon. You can use this to type notes or summarize your test results. The notes will save when testing is complete and the entire test is saved. Journal notes will transfer to the NOAA journal. The settings icon will allow you to set and change your default audiometer settings. The question mark icon will allow you to access help files for each individual test module. You can also search specific tests or topics in the search tab of the help files. The last icon is the more icon. From here, you can save the current session or open a session from a file. You can clear previous data for the current test. The old sessions will be saved in the previous session. You are simply clearing the screen for the current test. The triangle icon will give you access to the system calibration information. You can view existing calibrations, load calibrations for a new system, or load calibration files from your annual calibration. Please note the following choices in the audiometry sound panel. Right and left ear, transducer options, anything in this screen will use tone for testing. Odd is selected for air and bone testing. MCL and UCL will be selected when performing those tests with tone. Please note speech MCL and UCL will be completed in the word rec tab. Signal types include tone, warble, and narrow band noise. Pulse types are continuous or pulsed tone. The A2D, ARC, and Stealth will display the standard range from 125 to 8K. If you have the Stealth audiometer and have the high frequency option, the high frequency option may be displayed in three ranges. Standard range from 125 to 8K, full range 125 to 16K, 20K can be turned on in the advanced options if needed, and then high range from 8 to 20K. The masking bar is displayed next. Click on the masking bar to turn masking on. Click on the drop down to see the masking options. For standard testing, masking will be set to opposite ear and the proper transducer and proper stimulus will be selected. The audiometer can be operated with the keyboard or the mouse. To present a tone with the mouse, click on the test bar. To change levels, use the presentation and masking level arrows. To lock the masking level, click on the lock icon. 
To change frequency, use the frequency level controls. Keyboard operation of the audiometer will be covered in the audiometer training video. To the right of the test bar, there is a circle indicator. The circle will light up or be highlighted when the patient pushes the response button. The circle will also show up highlighted where you are presenting on the screen when the response button is pressed. Below the level controls, you will find the no response, could not test, and did not test buttons. Click on these when necessary and the proper symbols will be recorded at the threshold and frequency where you are testing. If you look at the two slide bars to the left of the audiometry panel, you will find two channels. The first channel is your testing channel and the second channel is your masking channel. These channels will move up or down when you change levels with your level control icons, up or down arrow keys on the keyboard, or by clicking the up and down arrows below the test channels. At the bottom of the audiometry panel screen, you will find the tools icon. This is your start screen by default. Next, you will find the view icon and the automated audiometry icon. The view icon will allow you to choose to display or hide the speech spectrum, phonemes, the level of hearing loss, and see the patient's sessions. The automated audiometry icon allows you to access the automated testing mode. The audiometer can be set to automatically do a complete test or screening for air and bone conduction testing. When the test begins, the test automatically proceeds to the next level as soon as the patient responds by pushing the response button. This will continue until the test is complete. Completion of the test is dependent on consistent responses from the patient. If they do not respond or if they are inconsistent in their responses, the test will stop and will indicate that the patient stopped responding or is responding inconsistently. Please see the help files for additional information. SRT and WR. In the audiometry panel, the options are generally the same for SRT and WordRec. Speech testing options will include right and left ear, transducer options, speech input options, which include mic for live voice testing, and file for recorded speech options. The media player just below these options will run the sound files continuously like a CD player would. To play the files this way and to access the built-in word list, click on the file folder to the right. The play, pause, and stop icons will allow you to run the speech files continuously like a CD player or to use your own CDs if you have a preference. A CD drive would be needed on your computer to use your own CD. There is a 1K calibration tone in the built-in files to calibrate. L and R will switch the left and right channels for CDs that were recorded that way. Just below, you will find your masking bar and masking options. Then you'll find the correct and incorrect icons, which are used to score speech testing with the mouse. You can click on the correct and incorrect icons to score while the files or CD are running continuously. At the bottom of the audiometry panel screen, you will find the tools icon, which is your start screen by default. The next icon is the W icon. Click on the icon to access the built-in word list. This will allow you to manually present the words to the patient. Select your list and click play to play the first word. When the word is repeated by the patient, click on the correct or incorrect icon to score. In this mode, when you score the word, the next word will automatically play. This is the auto advance feature. This option will allow you to control the speed of presentation. You can speed up the test when the patient is able to follow and respond quickly. You can also slow down the speed for the patient by waiting to score the word until they have responded or have caught up should they need more time. This eliminates the four second delay between words with continuous running files or CD presentations. The leader phrase is still given when the auto advance feature is used. 
In SRT, the dB level is displayed on the horizontal graph and the percentage is displayed on the vertical graph. WR. There are a few additional options in the WR audiometry panel. Right ear, left ear, and additionally there is a both icon for binaural speech MCL and binaural word recognition. The odd icon will be used when performing word recognition. In this screen, the UCL and MCL icons would be selected when performing these tests with speech.